guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 12 of Wonderful Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. She making something for Yuki? You're like, hmm, where is Yuki also as well? Outside fighting crime, duh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Not there. Where is oh lovely Yuki? Hi. Okay. <laughs> and you know, just chilling. Yuki being the emotional support cat. <laughs> we have emotional support dogs, and now we have emotional support cats. Oh my god, the, the three sided, babe. You want to talk about it? Yeah, it'll make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to your hot slash Anya. Satoru! 
<laughs> That's right. They smart little things. Yes, baby, yes, we know. <laughs> well, other than the fact that you don't know she's turned into a pretty carriage, go on that cream. Or really, she just goes to protect. I'm recording. Mm -hmm. So we tailor. What's wrong? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no. Nope, she's still there. Hello. You looking for Satoru? Uh, oh. Oh. Of course! And her room is just like a freaking loft and I love it. It's so freaking pretty and it suits her so much. <laughs> Nikki, like, oh God. <laughs> no, 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 yo.
Okay. Damn. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Yuki is hella annoying. <laughs> That's a dog for you. Uh oh, Jelly Belly. <laughs> uh Oh no, we insist. We'll be back. Baby, you won't open it up. I'm just not gonna be there.
my god. And then she just leaves so gracefully. <laughs> oh my god. And she just goes. I, I, It's a cat for you. Yeah, they don't harm me, hug. Oh my god.
I got a bad feeling about this. Go on home. Thank God. <sighs> it's see? Mm -hmm. Leaves like a badass bitch. Now, see, my thing is, like, going in the next week is, is money going to transform into a pretty girl. It does also make you wonder, like, okay, for, for Yuki, why she wants to resort to violence rather than hugging an owl and such, but that could also be... Okay, but let's think about it like this, and I hate to think about it in this term, because it's a huge possibility that before Mayu came in, it happened to her that she was getting A-worded by humans who didn't really care about her, and so I think she lashes out on the Gara Garu as her resort of not desperation, but just letting off steam in a way. I'm not 100% sure on it. Of course, that's the wrong thing. Please don't abuse people and pets. Like, seriously. Be nice. Treat them like you how, how you want to be treated. Be nice. Please and thank you. Don't do that. Big no-no. They babies. They they can't... They, babies can't speak like they do. Like we do. So, we speak for them. Unless they cry about something. And they're like, hey, Cody, if Cody ain't got food or water, you know what he does? Like, he'll, he'll stare at me. And then that stare could measly turn into, let me walk closer to you. And then let me start crying. And I look and I'll be like, what's wrong? Or he'll do like, hey, <laughs> I ain't got nothing. Did they just use the cure twinkle blows? Shut up! We can expect a high of 70 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 55 degrees. Oh my god. But no, like seriously, there there's something there. And maybe we might get a little more backstory on it because once again, both of these two pets have been abandoned. So what I would like to still see is the backstory before they met their current owners as of right now. Um, do I think they're going to do it? We we hope so, especially for Kamongi, because, like, there is a lot of context there for her, and, and same thing with Yuki, but it's like... You going to do it now? Are you going to do it in, like, five weeks, ten weeks? Are you going to do it by, like, halfway point of the show? Because remember, le like, okay, let's use, um... I'm trying to think. Let's use Delicious Party as a nutshell. We'll use Mary and then we'll use um, Yuki and her supposed, uh, not Yuki, Yui and her supposed boyfriend that she goes with technically when the show's over, but yeah, whatever. Okay. With Mary, there was a lot of potential to seeing like a lot of other things on like what he did on his downtime and stuff because all you would always see is Mary would be out going to eat all, almost like every single freaking episode. Now, my personal thing I wanted to see was, like, what was his relationships like besides with, you know, the core group and stuff. I wanted to see him go on, like, outings and stuff, you know. And it, ha it didn't have to be for a whole episode. It could have been for, like, three, five minutes going, maybe possibly having a date with someone. But, you know, once again, pretty sure you ready for that. But then you, 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 you did that-ish. You did it with Hugato. You gave us a B.O. couple. Did everybody also forget about Kitty Kitta? Do you remember how many quote unquote date episodes we have with those two? So you could do it. 
You just choose not to. So, regardless. Now, the same thing with... Mommy, go. go. <laughs> just go. The same thing applies with Yui and her significant. Same thing. Same freaking rules apply. They never really did any, like, they had some dating, dateable moments, but not, like, 10 out of 10 and such. But with this, this is crucial. Like, whatever else happened to these two before they met Mayu and Yoha, we need to know. And so I don't want to wait. I don't want to get to next year and we get to the end of it. And it's like, they didn't answer the big freaking question. I wonder when, it, when we were talking about episode 12 and such. And, you know, I feel like it, it, and I, I, I'm looking, I'm thinking too much about this because of the fact is this is still a kid show at the end of the day. But it's like context. We need those context clears and stuff to, or, to make it make sense and such. That's what we need. Just give me, ow, it hurts. Um, just give it. Say it. Something. That's all I freaking want at the end of the day. But the episode was good. I, I love, I hate the fact that we didn't really get a transformation, but it made the most sense because of the fact is Mayu needs to be there to also witness it and be like, oh my god, Yuki, what the heck is going on? And such. But that's going to be an interesting conversation. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully that happens next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 12 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all Excuse me. <clears throat> next Saturday for episode 13. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.